Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about the dot function from the NumPy module. So first, we'll need to import the NumPy module. OK. Now the dot function returns a scalar or an array. It returns a scalar if we pass two scalars as arguments. Have a look. Print np dot five three and we get the result fifteen, which is a scalar. It also returns a scalar if we pass two one dimensional arrays as arguments. Have a look. A equals np array two four six b equals np array negative one two three and I'll print np dot a b and the result is twenty four. And this is how it's calculated. We have 2, 4, 6 in the first array, negative 1, 2, and 3 in the second array. Now the elements are multiplied position wise and added together like so 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times 2 plus 6 times 3. Now here I'm using colors so that it's better visible. Now, when we calculate all of these multiplications and additions, we get the result 24. For two-dimensional arrays, the dot function returns the result of matrix multiplication. Just a quick reminder, we can only multiply two matrices if the first of them has the same number of columns as the number of rows of the other matrix. So, for example, we can multiply these two matrices, A and B, because A has four columns and B has four rows. Now let's convert these nested lists to arrays. So A equals NP array of A, B equals NP array of B. Now let's print them out. Print A, print B. Here's the result. Our first matrix and our second matrix. Well, as mentioned before, we can only multiply two matrices if the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix, like here. Or more generally, the shape of the last dimension of the first matrix must be the same as the last but one dimension of the second matrix. In our case, the two shapes are equal. Have a look. This is the shape of last dimension of A, and this is the shape of the last but one dimension of B. Now this should result in true, and so it does. So we can multiply these two matrices. So let's use the dot function. Print np dot a b. And here's the result. If you don't remember how matrices are multiplied, here's the visualization of our example. Here we have the matrix A and the matrix B. Now watch the colors because they are important. Now here we have all the calculations, so we take the elements from A, multiply them by the elements from B and add them together. For example, the first row in A is multiplied by the first column in B. 4 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 8 plus 8 times 5, it equals 72. And this is the element in the first row in the first column. The other elements are calculated exactly the same. If the number of columns of the first array is different than the number of rows of the second array, we'll get an error, because it's impossible to multiply such two matrices. OK, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.